Last week, the Ministry of Health and Child Care launched a nationwide campaign that saw children between the ages of 1 and 15 being administered a single dose of praziquantel for bilharzia and albidanzel for intestinal worms. <laughs> Mass Drug Administration. Yekupawana Mushonga Uguti Uko Payo Ayo Mapirits Ano Visa Mawems SAIO. Sakakana Zoya Kunok Viram Sa twenty eight October Chigumisram na November. I kuna I kuna bizavana kuti ausan go sanwe. Gavanwe van naivavo znoti batsira. Belhazia is a disease caused by parasites that live in freshwater snails. While intestinal worms find their way into the body through contaminated foods and through the skin, especially walking barefoot through contaminated water. Birchenef Bridge in the Buhera South District is a drought prone area that relies heavily on alternative sources of water, such as this irrigation scheme. <laughs> Devuli Primary School, which sits next to the Birchnaf Bridge irrigation scheme, has dealt with a number of outbreaks of bilharzia and intestinal worms over the past years. The school is surrounded by open water sources, which over time have become contaminated and a breeding ground for disease and parasites. <laughs> I now protect in Zimbabwe, the national prevalence rate of worms and bilharzia is 5.8% and 22.7% respectively, with some parts of the country reaching rates as high as 62.3% for bilharzia and 45.5% for worms. If left untreated, bilharzia can result in complications such as anemia, lack of concentration leading to poor performance in class, cancer of the bladder, male and female infertility, and an increased risk of contracting HIV and STIs in women, while complications of worms include malnutrition, stunted growth, intestinal bleeding, and memory impairment. <laughs>